Hello guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to dockerize your own Flask web application and I'm also going to show you how to connect your Maria database to this Flask web application and we are also going to use phpMyAdmin so we can connect to the database from, from the browser and so we can edit or execute SQL statements so you can actually use this uh, website as as a building block to your uh, you know to your Flask web application on Docker. So you won't have to write all this basic uh, configuration. That's actually kind of uh, the main goal of uh, this video. And if you want any other stuff, any more advanced stuff, just leave a comment down below, and I'll absolutely be very happy to help you. So yes, let's get into it. So before I start, I want to mention something very quickly. Uh, if you want to use Flask and Docker uh, Docker Web Server, I'm not going to really explain a lot of about the Python because that's another topic. And if you do want me to explain that, just leave a comment down below. But I'm going to really focus on explaining uh, Docker because actually, uh, in building this web server, that's the most difficult part because I usually get a lot of errors when I work with uh, Docker. So that's where I'm going to con to focus on. Uh, so I'm going to explain the Docker file and the Docker Compass file. And if you want if you want me to explain anything other than that, maybe leave a, c a comment down below and I will absolutely do a video for you. Uh, so if you open the main folder, which you can find on GitHub, uh, link down in the video description below, you will find actually these two folders. This is a database we, we are going to use this later in this video. It's just a test database, uh, so you can test, uh, test if the database is actually working. And this is uh, actually the web server itself. So, so if you open it, you will find here the Docker Compose uh, file, which is actually the main uh, file. So first of all, uh, the first thing I'm using is actually the Flask server, which is in this directory. So let's check it out. I go to here, Flask server, and this is a Docker file. Yes, uh, I'm using Python the latest version, and then I'm updating it, and then upgrade. I upgrade it, and then I am upgrading pip, and then I'm installing Flask and Maria database, so I can connect the database to my Flask web application, and then I'm uh, making a working work directory. Uh, for Flask because every Flask project need a work directory and then I'm simply uh, running the application it's just a cmd command python app.py so back to the docker compass file so for my web application I'm using port 80 and uh, docker and uh, Flask uses by default uh, port 5000 so uh, so this is actually well, actually, I'm using port 80 because it's uh, the default port for uh, web pages. So it's actually uh, easier for the user to use it. I link uh, the web server to the database. So they they are now on the same uh, network. And in case there is error, it would always restart. And here I'm telling uh, Docker to take all the files from Flask server, web server, to the Flask project, which is actually uh, the work directory inside the container. So and so, I'm taking all the files here, which are needed to run Flask. I'm putting them inside the container. Uh, so that was about the web server. Uh, the database. I'm using my SQL latest version. Also, in case of error to, of, or anything else, it will always restart. Uh, and I'm using this entry point for some compatibility issues because in the latest my SQL versions uh, there are actually a lot of problems uh, with docker that's why I'm using this entry point it solves all the compatibility issues because otherwise if I don't have this command I would need to use uh, an, an older version of my SQL or, or I will face a lot of errors or just compatibility issues actually uh, the port, I'm using the default port for my SQL. Uh, the environment here, you can set some uh, very important environment like root password, your uh, first database to be created, uh, the user, and password. And I'm also using just like extra, you don't have to use this, but it's actually very helpful 
because you will be able to see your database uh, from the browser which is just by using php my admin and you and you link it to your database this is actually uh, the host's database the same port and i'm using port 800 for the php my admin and i think that php my admin is actually very helpful because you don't have to do any extra configurations you you will just simply i mean if you just put this uh, you know few lines of code you will be able to access your database from your web browser and you know edit ev everything from there but that's actually about the docker uh, compose file if we go back to the docker web server we explain this one and this one and this is actually the web server i have here uh, a very simple index.html page and the css so if you open our app.py I actually created this very simple and very uh, basic website we are already familiar uh, with uh, flask but the only interesting part here is actually the connection to the database so as you can see here I'm going to explain this just in, in just a minute but as you can see here we made a connection and the cursor and we made a statement and we executed it and then I returned the a result in a string so the host is actually the IP address of uh, Maria database and I'm going to show I'm going to show you how to find this IP address so you want to open your terminal and then run sodo decor ps and you can see here um, I have all these containers the web server the PHP my admin and the MySQL we want the IP address of the MySQL we want to find it so I'm going to you know copy the ID the ID of MySQL and I'm going to run this command which actually you know I have already done it we will, which will actually show you the IP address I will leave this command down in the description below I'm just inspecting the network so as you can see here this is the IP address of my SQL so that's why I have here uh, on the host this IP address the port is 3006 which I defined it uh, here as you can see the user is me I also defined it in the docker compose file and the password your, this one is I also defined it in the you know Every, all the settings are here de are defined here in the docker compass file and the database is student because I have already made a database you know and then I made a connection and I, ex I executed this command so you know you can like uh, put your own configuration do whatever you want but this is just a very basic web server just to show you you know how to connect or how, how to connect your database uh, with your flask application but actually this is the most important par part of the whole video to be honest all other parts you should already be familiar with it or you are now going to learn it but this is, but this is the most difficult one the docker uh, compost file and the docker uh, file so for the last part of this video uh, i'm going to show you how to access the database from your browser as you can see here i'm using the port uh, 800 so I'm going to my local host because the web server is running on my, on my local host or you can type 127.0.0.1 doesn't matter it's actually the same so local host and then the port is 800 so this is the PHP my admin login page and I didn't do anything for you know for, I didn't install any uh, extra stuff it just was just this few lines of code I now have access to my database through so this you know very interactive and great uh, way so I'm going to use the login credentials that I've already defined in the docker compass file which are I'm going to use my SQL user me and this is the password I'm going to copy it so the username is me and this is the password go uh, so this is uh, uh, database and this is the table student and as you can see here I have 
two uh, students or one is actually not student but an admin but you know i just i made it very quick so <laughs> don't really uh, take it serious so this is actually id name password email you know just a quick database but if you want to execute your own sql you can go to, to sql here and just execute it and you can see like it's it's really cool to access the data uh, the database from your browser and didn't cost you a lot of effort just this actually this part of code you can choose other part if you want it's already it's all up to you let's actually make a quick test for uh, the website so as you can see here i'm uh, these are these are the app routes that i have this is the index the login the database so first of all let's test uh, the index page so let's go to localhost this one as you can see it's working you know just an example it uses the uh, index.html page and this is the login page so i'll put i'll go to login yes this is the login page as you can see here i have returned just a string this is the login page login page and here is the database so to test the database i select everything from student so i will go to the page database as you can see here are uh, the two students or the admin and the student shown and this is actually the database and now you can actually use this database uh, like for uh, login credentials if you want to make a login page register page you know whatever you want but this is actually just a quick uh, test for the website so this was actually the video for today I, I didn't actually want you know to explain all the little details because we probably like 99% are already familiar with everything that I'm saying but it's just here the, the real work you know connecting making the docker file and the docker compose but python and the flux you should already be familiar with this and you might already have some experience with the docker compose but if you do want me to explain everything um, i will absolutely be happy to do that just leave a comment and i will do that as fast as possible and you know i will make uh, this is the same as this video but one that is actually very detailed so yeah i hope you like the video and the uh, if you liked it, please consider subscribing and uh, have a great day.